Hello, it's Cara Riley, and welcome to the Cosmic Cow Pie and Cara's Clip Notes. I'm here with a top producing real estate agent from uh, Maryland and also a lender from Tucson, Arizona. And we are going to be talking about the daily photography themes and how using photographs are going to help create some wonderful engagement. And I'm so excited because Mike Jones is actually an incredible photographer. So he's got photography skills. Margaret is an amazing photographer too. So we've got two people who really are skilled at uh, taking pictures and then sharing them. So what we're going to do today is kind of fine tune how to apply those skills on Google Plus to start engagement with people. So I'm going to start from my left here and we've got Mike Jones and Mike is uh, talking to us via a, um, let's see, phone to a computer line so you might not hear him but I'm going to hold my phone right up to the, uh, right up to the speaker and Mike, can, well, go ahead and introduce yourself and what you do. Hi, my name is Mike Jones and I'm a lender with Sun Street Mortgage in Tucson. We also have offices in Mesa, in Nogales, and I do loans all over the state of Arizona. And, and tell us a little bit about your photography. I, I know that you would be humble, but I've asked you. So to, uh, you may, you create beautiful photos, and so just give us a little bit of your background on photography, too. Sure. Well, ever since digital photography came into being, uh, and it's free to take photos, I just take hundreds of them. I always have my camera with me. Well, that's great. And, uh, out of those hundreds, I get a few that are pretty good. Awesome. Okay. Well, I'm going to put this phone back down now. And, uh, Margaret, if you ever have a hard time hearing uh, Mike, let me know and I'll move the phone. So I'm now good. we're just fine. He's Margaret. Loud and clear. Okay, Margaret, we'll introduce yourself from Baltimore, Maryland, Margaret Rome. Margaret Rome from Baltimore, Maryland. Sell your home with Margaret Rome. I'm a solo broker, loving what I do. Uh, I have been blogging every day. I started blogging about five or six years ago and have done it daily. But today, I am so excited to be able to use my photos um, the way I really want to use it so that when you see a post of, about one of my listings you're going to see not my face not some other face you're going to see the picture of the property and I'm thrilled to be here with you Cara. Oh this is this is this is fun we're all learning together um, how to use the hangouts and then how to use the tools available to us uh, within Google Plus so that's really fun and um, when we uh, are finished with the um, graphic end of this, I really want to talk a little bit also about how real estate agents would be able to use these hangouts. And we've got a lender here and we've got a real estate agent here of talking to potential buyers about um, how the process works. And uh, we can have a slide share on um, FICO scores and qualifying. This is just going to be great. So now I am going to uh, go to the screen share. I, I have that all set up. So if uh, you're ever doing a presentation like this, you just have it open. And then you collect the screen shares on the left. And uh, then what happens is the screen comes up. So instead of seeing me, you are seeing the screen uh, for the presentation. And um, so we're just going to jump right in here. Uh, at Google Plus, we have daily photography themes. And Mike, are you familiar at all with these daily photography themes? I'm not. I'm learning right along with everybody else here. I'm so happy to be Well, that's great. That's great. Okay. So what, what that means is there every day there, there's a uh, Way Wednesday, there's a Fence Friday, there's an Alien Abduction Friday, today is Street Picks Thursday. So any pictures that you have, you're able to post, and I'll be showing you how, um, how that works. And um, so uh, we're, we're hearing that punching there. <laughs> 
but as we start, because engagement on Google Plus is so different than um, Facebook or, or Instagram or Twitter, it's very important, and because it's a global community, can you see there where, where you've got your picture, this is your profile picture on Google+, Plus. you need to have where you live. Now, not your spe specific street address, but Williams, Arizona, USA. And Margaret works in Baltimore and was very important about a zip code. So she has a zip code in there that's important to her. But um, when people mouse over your name, okay, on uh, they, they're going to see two things, what you do and uh, where you're from. So if you're doing business in Arizona, you need to have that Arizona address in there. On your About page, um, places that you've lived, this is an, a, a wonderful way to engage with people. We've lived in a lot of places, so it starts a lot of conversation. But in Google+, Plus, people decide whether they're going to circle you and engage with you based on your About page. So we, that's a whole other session, but the most important part here is if you are selling a business product or service, you cannot be afraid and be a secret agent, not have your email, not have your phone number. All of that needs to be in there so that if somebody does want to contact you, they've got it. And this address, I'm showing you here where it says the home. Let me go back. Um, the, that's where you put the Williams, Arizona, USA because there's a lot of people who are looking um, who are not from the USA. Now here's an example of one of our friends and this is the two lines that come up. The first one is a tagline so we know that she sells real estate but where the employment is it, it doesn't tell us where the location is and Margaret got that all changed uh, the other day so you want to make sure that your two lines say what you do and where you're from. Now, here's how we search the themes. In the top of your search bar, there's a Google Plus search bar, and it's where uh, right at the top um, when you open up your page, and here you can see the arrows showing you, that's the magnifying glass. So if you type in daily photography themes, then you're going to get to this page, which is all of the themes that are available to post pictures. And Margaret, we'll get to yours where you had some food porn on uh, uh, Food Friday, but you go to the About page. Do you see here? Usually you land on the posts of a page, and you need to click on the About page because the About page tells you who the curators are, who you're supposed to hashtag, and how the page works. So we, here we've got things that are only posted on Sunday, only posted on Monday, only posted on Tuesday, and then any day of the week themes. So you need to be respectful of the curators because the curators get paid nothing. But if you're posting something on Tuesday that they don't look at on till Friday, they probably are not going to talk to you. So it's very important to kind of respect where they're at. This was a fun um, uh, post by Dorette um, who realized that you can find what's trending on Google+. So if you're concerned and, and really working towards SEO ranking in your business page or, or your personal page, if you jump into the conversation on what's trending, you're going to help your algorithms because you are communicating and sharing with what's happening. And one of these, when this was uh, Direct's post, so it's right off of her page, and of course it's public, that she was noting, and Floral Fl Friday was trending, and I'm going to show you some examples of what that means and how you post, simply post flowers and start talking to people. Okay. National Park Monday was trending on a Monday, and there is a new page called uh, Google Trends. It's, it's hard to read up there, but what they do is if you're posting a picture that's trending, they're going to reshare your picture. So what does that mean to you? That means that in your algorithm, when somebody's sharing your pictures, that shows that you are active in the Google community and it's, it's, it's factoring into where you rank when somebody searches your name. 
Okay, now I live by the Grand Canyon, and so uh, Mike, whenever you want to come up here, we've got a place to go visit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know this is this is one of the fun things about the photography themes is that you're able to take the online um, conversation and then have meetups and there's nothing more fun than meeting people to go take some pictures and so here all I did here was talk about um, that thinking about the beauty and the majesty of one of the seven wonders of the world I didn't say anything else except for this was my first contribution and I had no idea there was a National Parks Monday photo theme until I saw it trending and I'm like well I have a picture I can put in there so then let's see what happens after I did that one of my international friends Shira Gal who actually is a um, top um, hangout coordinator and she does uh, Kendall publishing anyway she saw that picture and she shared it and she gave me a shout out now this is businesses from around the world just connecting through photographs and uh, Shira and I have talked on many different business levels and here we are here she was sharing my photo my photograph on the Grand Canyon now let's go back to the Floral Friday and we went to the about page for Floral Friday and you find out it says is curated by Tamara Pressner, okay? And actually, um, Mike, I think Tamara is in Arizona. You'll have to go to her about page. There are several high um, top photographers that are from Arizona who have pages that you might want to connect with because they're always doing photo walks in different locations. But anyway, it says what to do, and of course, flowers on Friday. Everyone loves to see the beautiful pictures of flowers coming through their streams on Friday. So here's what we're going to do. This was um, an example of, of how this works, okay? So you go to your stream. This is how your stream, when you're going to do an update, uh, you just go to your home page then you click on the camera icon because you're going to add a photo now if you want to create an album like uh, Tucson Sunsets Mike then you would click on create album and then you would have it now what I have to say about albums though is um, they, they tend to be cumbersome to and, and you might not get as much um, engagement as if you have just one beautiful flow, one beautiful sunset. So that's just my humble opinion of it. I'm telling you, you can um, do that. Now, also, if you've taken pictures on your cell phone, you can upload right from your cell phone on, on your desktop. Okay, so then the next picture is okay, upload, find it on my computer, same thing, browse. And this was a photo um, that I shared. Now, I have the word own photo in red because we have some people who um, love to share other people's works, but not in the daily photography themes. You can share someone's beautiful uh, photography on your wall, but you can't share it in the themes because the themes are set up for you to become better in photography and um, push you kind of out of your comfort zone, maybe to macros and to shallow depth of field, which we'll see um, down here. So I posted that. Now, this is another little cow tip right in the middle of uh, what we're doing here that um, you can edit your photo right in Google. There is an edit photos. There's a small little pencil that comes up. You upload the photo, click on the small little pencil, and this is a very important, that's why the blue arrow is there, resize your photos to 640 by 480, okay? Unless you upload, because it takes too long to download, and if a curator has to wait for your picture to show up, they might not really be wanting to sit there waiting for it. And also for your own protection, no one's going to be able to do anything commercially with that small of a, a DPI. And that's dots per inch for those of you just, just starting. 
And here, with the text, you can put your branding. So um, Margaret would be putting Home Roam Realty, um, Mike, whatever your branding is, uh, you, photos by your name. So um, this way you can do it. If you haven't done it and somebody who's listening doesn't have an editing program on their computer, you can do it right in Google+. Plus. You can rotate it. You can crop the picture. You can go ahead and enhance it. You, uh, you can, it's wonderful, the tool that they have there. So... Um, so now here's how we're going to finish up on this. Um, this was the example of the photo. It said TGIF. Hope you're having a beautiful weekend because it was uh, the Friday. Remember, Floral Friday. And here's where I tagged with the hashtag. This is very important if you're lear learning one thing. If you're participating in the daily photography themes, you have to do the hashtag the way uh, and run all the words together. So hashtag Floral Friday. Now, th then if you want to link so that people who are looking, if they want to find out about Floral Friday, you link to the page. And the Floral Friday page, you do that by either starting with the at sign or the plus sign, and it will auto-populate into what you're typing. So that will connect or tag Floral Friday and curated by, and this is where you want to tag the curator, because then it gives her a notification. Tamara knows that I have posted something for Floral Friday. Now, because those flowers were so bright, I also thought, well, why don't I give it some more exposure with colors on Friday? Because anything that was bright and colorful, you can post in this theme, Colors on Friday, curated by Karsten Myers. So then you click share and you're uh, off to the races. Now, I'm going to tell you about one thing here, which is a whole other training class, um, send to do share. Google Plus, because it ties all your Google products together, you cannot post on your personal page through Hootsuite. You can post your pages and put uh, um, Hoot through Hootsuite but you cannot post what goes on your personal stream, so you have to send it to do share. So again, that's a whole other training class, but if you want a program, let's say you're gonna be gone for two weeks, but you still want your stream to be active, you can totally do that. Okay, so then you just watch the conversation begin. I tagged all the people, and then people just started talking. Now, when someone comments to you, it's very important that you comment back to them. And what I do is go look at that person's about page. Where are they from? What do they do? Is this somebody I want to put in another circle and start talking to? And uh, you, Margaret, in Maryland, you will be able to do searches of people in Maryland and in um, uh, all of Arizona, since you lend in all of Arizona, Mike, you'll be able to do this same thing. And this will be the most incredible tool of all of social media. You will go, oh my goodness, I am so glad <laughs> I'm learning this because of the SEO ranking and of how you can search to see who you want to start engaging with. Okay, so now I went to this lady's page, um, Megumi Marsh, and she's from San Diego. But uh, and I told her, this, I saw this photograph, her Floral Friday, and this is so cool because it's shallow depth of field, which means you have something focused, but then the things behind are not in focus. So this is a technique in photography. Mike, do you, do you like that or the shallow depth of field when you're doing some um, macro work? Yeah, and so it and it just takes a little bit of practice. So I'm I put this conversation up here, and I'm going to show you the end here. Oh, I've always enjoyed your photos, but never had the courage to comment. Now, isn't that? I mean, to me, that made it very nice, very sweet that she um, is seeing my pictures, but finally uh, just decided to chat. And it was because I told her about the shallow depth of field daily photography theme. Okay? Now, here's this picture, and I'm going to tell you about these flowers. They came from Safeway. 
and the sun was shining in on my kitchen table and I thought wow that's pretty vibrant okay I had 60 likes two shares and 35 comments on my Safeway flowers sometimes I take my camera to Safeway <laughs> Okay, or wherever I'm at, and I, I don't have to buy the flowers, but this is just a representation to say what you have at home will work. Now, here's another fun daily, or not a daily, uh, it's, it's two days, um, but it's part of the photography themes. Catterday, which is on Saturday, or Fido Friday. Now, most people have some kind of a pet, okay, and they love to talk about pets. So here, my cat was out in, on a black piece of furry fabric that I had, and usually animals do not like their picture. I don't know what it is, but it's very hard to get their picture. But I had about a 20-minute photo shoot, and I got so many beautiful pictures of my cat on the black that I couldn't believe it. So, but I, I, I put a caption on them all. Plan B doesn't work if you never had a plan A. So I'm not saying to people, I help with business planning, I help um, with uh, social media planning. I'm just saying that you have to have a plan A. And I'm not um, doing anything with links, but I posted it. And then I had a share from um, Seiko Shiroto. And she picked up on it, and she is a consultant in Japan. So I went over to thank her for sharing, and she only works in Japan with the consulting, but it, she was able to use my picture, and she was saying what she did. So this is how the connections work. Who would have thought my um, dog, my cat, trapped in a dog, my cat, who is really a dog, trapped in a cat's body, would uh, do this. And now this is another fun picture you might know Crystal Craft from Denver, Colorado, and uh, she we started uh, talking about these daily themes. And there's a, a fun theme called Alien Abduction Friday. And I first of all was just kind of infatuated because of the cosmic cow pie and the connection with the uh, alien abduction. You know, connecting those dots. But the theme is actually about editing. How do you edit? And so it takes you out of your comfort zone to be starting and creating some things. Now I'm going to just have some examples of blog posts because both of you blog and many people who are in any kind of a business are starting to blog. This was Crystal's example of holiday lights in uh, Metro Denver. And she didn't have um, much as far as activity with this small photo and uh, the link to her blog. Um, we then, I then explained to her if she put, instead of auto-populating the blog post and put, uploaded the full picture that more people would talk to it, and in less than an hour she had 10 pluses and people starting to talk because the photograph was bigger. And she still has the link to her blog, but it wasn't the auto-populate. Now, I don't know if you guys want to try this, but um, if you have a picture, you can open up your Google Plus stream, and I'm sure you both have one somewhere, um, uh, um, in a new window. You've got your Hangout uh, window. Just move that over, and your Google Plus. And the first thing in your in the search box up at the top, in order to do, in order to add or use a theme, you need to follow the page. And for real estate, absolutely, you need to have My Town Tuesday as a theme that you follow and participate in. And uh, so you go up to the top search and put in My Town Tuesday, click that blue um, my, um, spyglass, um, and then it will take you to My Town Tuesday. You have to follow the page in order for them to talk to you. So you follow that page. And it's the same thing. It's uh, like um, Facebook and it's like Google+. Plus. If you have a business page, people have to circle you or you can't talk to them from your page.
So then you click on your photo and you browse for a photo from your community. Then you can edit it down to the 640 to 420 if you had a big one from your computer. Then you add the comments, the theme, and the curator, okay? You, whatever you wanted to say about your cat or about whatever it is, and then you can put that in there. You go ahead, don't forget to put the hashtag MyTownTuesday because some people will just search that. And if I were both of you, I would search My Town Tuesday and see if people are posting about Baltimore or if people are posting about anywhere in Arizona and then you just start talking to them about their photograph and be sure and add the curators and then share your public your post public and a lot of times when people are first starting they don't realize they have to look down to who it is you're sharing with and if you don't have it shared with the public the curators cannot reshare your page so you want you want to do that now this is this next one is just an example of one of my town Tuesdays where um, uh, I live on, in Williams Arizona on Route 66 so the nightlife is kind of fun with the uh, um, car up on top and this is a Route 66 restaurant and so I don't say anything in here about business period and in on these uh, daily photography themes, you should not be posting about um, your listings and including a link. They, they would consider that spam, okay? If you're participating in the photography themes, you are there to just talk to people. Now, at the end, I'm going to show you a real estate um, theme that you can do that for. But here, um, and I've had um, curators on, they just won't even talk to you if they think it's spam. They, won't, they will ignore the picture, and they won't share it, and sometimes they might even block you. So you need to be very careful about that. Now, what this means above the fold, when it's in a stream, only about the first inch shows up. And then all if you want to tag a whole bunch of other people, you do that down at the bottom. So this one said, Route 66 is a historic road in American history. Williams, Arizona is the home of the train, which takes global visitors to the Grand Canyon and also Polar Express through the 2nd of January. The nightlife puts extra sparkle in the holiday season. Have you been to Williams? And so then I asked a question about the picture so that it starts people engaging. And there we've put My Town Tuesday, and it's curated by Jamie Furlong and Melanie Kintz. And then here is the um, Williams, Arizona, where I've used the hashtag, because people will be searching, and the train, Grand Canyon, Polar Express, Route 66, and spelled out Route 66. Because what happens is, if you've ever searched Google and you're adding all these pictures, guess what? When people search those terms, your picture is going to come up. Okay? It may not be what they're looking for, but they'll decide if they want to connect with you or not. And then um, <clears throat> this was the conversation. Luciano Cruz is from um, Lisbon, Portugal, and started a conversation. And we started a conversation from Bridges Around the World. And you also can add to Bridges Around the World because you've got to have bridges in Baltimore and you've got to have bridges in uh, um, <laughs> Tucson. <laughs> they might be over a dry wash, but I know you've got bridges. <laughs> But we can um, start conversations. I curate that with um, uh, Knuts from uh, Finland who had a hundred bridges in uh, Finland. And um, so he brings the technical photographer uh, to the team, to the curating team. But we're connecting people around the world through bridges. And we also have something called Everything Red. And I have a photographer from um, New York City who curates that with me. So anyway, we had this conversation. Greg Kinney is someone I met who is a portrait photographer. And he did a Southwest tour. We went to Antelope Canyon together, meeting up through Google+. Plus. So it's just amazing. Now let's look at Margaret's examples here. Margaret kind of gets the I get it button because uh, we went through some of hers. This was her stream um, before, 
Okay, and there's a before and after where uh, this is what she was talking about. Um, the auto populate on the blog post pulls up a logo and then, or it pulls up your profile picture. So if I was just somebody looking at this page, I'm like, oh, here's this woman talking about this woman. Okay, would I click on those? I don't know. And when we've had uh, different um, business people on there, they're saying not something that really makes them want to click on the post. And this is one that was a, a fabulous listing that she has. Um, where she, and this is what it looked like on her stream. It just had the name of the condo. Um, it had the zip code of Maryland. You don't really even see that it's seventy four nine ninety four. Um, and whether somebody would click. Now, this is her new picture. <laughs> Look at that. That shows what it is. And I didn't shrink this, Margaret, before we, uh, um, uh, at the top, it gives the price and it gives the square footage. And so it gives somebody a reason. Right here is the link to her blog. Um, but at least it, it's showing what the picture is like, what the community is like, and made a huge difference. Now here's another blog post that, that Margaret had done about a meetup um, where you had, tell us about this Margaret. Um, this was a, a meetup that we did on Monday um, just by inviting people, this was the bloggers, there were 18 of us that showed up and I have, I love to do a food photography, it's a lot healthier to, to do the photography than it is to eat it. And um, so this was, I used this collage plus another collage of people in the blog and we came up with the um, orgy, food orgy, and that's perfect for a food orgy. So I used the picture and that just links back to the blog post. And we've and gotten a fair amount of comments on it. Well, yeah, I was going to say, Margaret, on your other posts, had you had really any comments when they were, was just an auto post from your blog? Not on Google. On Active Rain, it, it, it was a featured post, but... Um, right, but I mean on Google. We're talking about no, Google. Absolutely nothing, nothing. Okay, and, now, and you can see this, and I took this picture the first day, and she, it's, there's, another, there's another class about circle strategy, about letting people know um, that like you and love you, that, that you've posted something. And I think within 10 minutes, you had two pluses, and now you have eight comments when I just took this, okay? So eight people had started talking about this because it's talking about the picture and what she's got there. On Friday, there is Food Friday, and so anytime Margaret could post her lovely pictures, because you do um, reviews on restaurants all around Baltimore, Maryland. So, um, but again, you would not put, if you were participating in Food Friday, it's just gonna be pictures of your food. You are not going to be um, doing anything. I guess if you were doing um, your restaurant, it's a little bit marginal um, whether or not people would want to uh, participate in the daily photography theme. Do you see what I'm saying? Because it's it's more about the picture and then people wanting to talk to you because you've, you've um, posted a really cool picture. Okay. All right. So this is just another example of a tiny picture about uh, tips. And this blog post was about how photographs are really what's happening everywhere. Instagram, Pinterest. Now this is the difference with a bigger photo. You can see you can see what's going on. So maybe someone would say, "Oh, I want to read that." Versus. This and then this was the blog post, so you get to the blog post. Here's another one with just faces and uh, what happens. Now, here's a fun one that you all will have is uh, Sign Sunday, and um, it was so funny because Sally from Active Rain was saying, "Well, this isn't really even the greatest picture," and no, it wasn't, but it was up at the Grand Canyon. It had the Grand Canyon in the background, and it was about recycle. And uh, so I posted this on Sign Sunday. I think I ended up with something about uh, 50 comments um, on it. Uh, here we were at 23, but we had people from all over the world talking about how they recycle. We had uh, Finland, we had Denmark, we had Germany, we had Canada. They were chiming in with what they did with recycling in their community. So 
it's just that's what pictures will do for you. So Sally tried it and uh, she's from Canada and this was a crazy sign and she just got all kinds of people because it's like what does that sign mean? I mean if I was driving and saw that sign I would have no clue what I was supposed to do. <laughs> So that's that's what was fun about that, and then here she, Sally jumped right in with these um, with these photography themes, and she is a decorator and an, a, a, a stager, and um, so she shared with everything red. She decorated a tree, and it has um, uh, snowshoes up at the top, <laughs> and she has on a red sweater, and she actually it has almost 30 comments on this now but she was sharing with everything red curated by Cara Riley and Donna Donna Pierre so what happens is you're getting all these people to see who you are we talk about it she engaged with a friend of mine who um, wrote the book red a voyage of colors and she actually ended up buying um, Valentina Chirasola see Valentina if you're watching I got your name down right <laughs> she is from Italy and she wrote a book uh, on colors and so there they had a connection she's in California but does decorating through Skype all around the world now here's one that was an attempt and this is where I'm saying that we cannot do this where you participate in the daily photography themes with a link to a home now that's a beautiful landscape photography and then this page this page called real estate this page will share your real estate. You can put your link. We want you to put your link on this page to your real estate. But this page is run like a daily photography theme for pictures of homes. And so here was this be beautiful picture of the landscaping with the link to the house and here we were able to say five acres, 429,000, three bedrooms, two baths, contact June um, with her real estate property and then see the links are to her. So what we're doing on the real estate page is pushing out to the world specific properties. Not here's how you sell your house and eight tips to make it look better. That is not what we're doing. It's like let's connect people with actual real estate around the world. And here was one Janice had done, and uh, she had one on Donnelly Farm. And it, it, follow the about page because you need to put the price, you need to put the city and state, you need to put uh, the um, bedrooms and bathrooms. Because when people, this is the 21st century, if they like what you're saying, you're giving them the information, then they're going to click on the link to you and find out more information if they like it. The day of bait and switch is pretty much over. So it's like give them the picture, give them the price, where it's at, and then the link so that they can connect with you. And uh, that's great. And Bill had done this one. And look, he had the full photograph on there. The price, he even has the address. Everything needed to make a really easy share um, in uh, uh, Hop Hopkinton, Massachusetts. So here was a share on the real estate theme where we were able to just take the price, um, how many acres it was on, approximate square footage, and connect with Bill um, Gassett and maximum real estate exposure. So there's two links to connect with him uh, through, through this page where I'm sending people um, all around the world to find real estate all around the world. So that's it. Now up on the left, I'll click that screen share again. We'll click it off. And there I come. <laughs> so if you were doing a presentation, um, Mike, with uh, uh, a first-time home buyers or a special loan program, you would be able to share your screen. On the left-hand side, you see there the screen share. Um, Margaret, if you were doing the deal of the week hangout with um, people um, that were following you, uh, even if it wasn't your listing, you could share some of the pictures there. You could be talking about how somebody could finance it um, and maybe even have a title company here. So there, there's just so many avenues with this venue and when we had this hangout on air, only the people I invited were able to show up in the panel. 
okay? So this was like um, private, and, but it is going to be public so other people can learn from it and watch what we went over. And so if you're creating a um, hangout, Margaret, where you would be sharing the steps for a buyer to get a loan to buy a home in Maryland, then this could this this actually could be embedded on your website, in your blogs of this is how you do it and you have the conversation. So Mike, what are you thinking about what we've done and how this all um, would fit in? Because I know this is so new, so much information. Uh, what, do you, what do you think about the whole thing? So, so what Mike has said, Mike, maybe could you pick your phone up again because uh, you've got it no, down definitely. there? Yes, and I think that what you said it, it deserves repeating because anybody who's watching this um, will hear what you have to say. Sure, I had no idea that all these tools were available to me, and this is pretty exciting. I'm going to be uh, jumping in and. Figuring it out. I tried to upload a picture to Tuesday. My Town Tuesday. Yeah, My Town Tuesday. I don't know if I did it right, but I'm excited about this. Thank you. Yes, well, good, good. Now, Margaret, I'm going to um, turn, I'm going to, and see what happens when you're the, uh, um, the uh, presenter. I, I have control of who gets shown up at the top. So now Margaret's up there in the blue box. So tell us tell us if you've got some more stuff. I know we were working on this and just wanting to see what, what you picked up today that might be helpful in summarizing to help share with anybody who's just getting started. Well, I think I might have to quit real estate to have time to play with this fun stuff. I mean, you opened up the idea of bridges around the world, and I'm thinking, we've got the best bridge right here. We've got the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. You do. Um, you have a beautiful bridge. We've got bridges and, you know, food photos and real estate and signed Sundays. I mean, my head is exploding with all the things that, that I, that, this would open up and I need to be careful because the first thing that I need to do is go take my dozen listings and <laughs> make, I mean, the, the whole idea of real estate is try to, to sell it. Yes. Um, you know, yes, we can have fun doing the Google Hangouts, but it's also got to be to help our buyers and sellers and I cannot think of a better way that this could do it. So. Um, you know, I'm saying, which listing do I like the best? Which one do I do first? I'm doing them all. So, so Margaret, I, you, you, you shared something in the green room that I think is uh, worth um, sharing with our listeners is the fact that um, you are going to be using, tell, tell us what you're going to be using on a listing tonight. What, what are you going, that you've done uh, within this last week that you're going to be able to use as a listing tool tonight? My goodness, it's so easy. Well, I have to tell you, the people that I'm going on are, are too old to, to even know what a computer is. Uh, but anybody, ev any and everybody knows what Google is. And I can just click the, the, I can just Google one of those hashtags that I did on the listing to pull up that person's listing on Google. That's going to be phenomenal. Yeah, and I, I think not everybody it puts those dots together quite that fast, and it really does work when you put the hashtag Baltimore, Maryland, and you had, uh, we had seven, what is it, seven? Seven Slade. Seven Slade, that if someone was working, looking for that, that um, complex, um, Margaret would come up first with her photo full photo. Now, because the algorithms that Google is um, creating with your posts, okay, when you give your own edition, when you are uploading your own pictures, Mike, that is uh, a different algorithm than just sharing something. So if you're just sharing a post, okay, that's different than if you created it. So when you upload your own stuff, Google is saying, oh, this is this person creates and shares in the community. 
Does that make sense when I'm saying if you take a link from your blog and you put it on there, that is totally different than creating this post with your own uploads. So it gives you... You totally get that. Okay, good. Because I think some people don't get it, and it's like, well, when you, you totally need to be creating things and doing some posts right on Google+. Plus. Okay, so you can take those same con concepts and actually put it in your feed. It's a different search than if you're just sharing what you did somewhere else. And that's... Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yes. What I think I learned the most was before I was just hitting the Google Plus when I was writing a post and letting it populate there, um, now I can actually create yes. that post to send people to it and they see instead of my picture or some other logo, they can see this photograph of this property. I mean, how exciting. I mean, talk about a listing tool. This has got to be one of the best listing tools in the entire world. When you're in a bit, say for instance, that seven slate, if I were in that building and I was about to take another listing, well, look what would happen. Let's let's just go to Google and, and put in seven slate, what happens? And boom, there is the photo of the, the building um, I mean, that's that's priceless. Yeah. Oh, okay, pick up pick up your phone there, Mike. We the uh, uh, yeah, and um, the uh, the the other tool, Margaret, is the fact that you are sharing in a daily photography theme on real estate. Okay, so what that is is another avenue that you are reaching out to the world because that's that's our whole goal is this global connection. And it's, so it's like, well, these people will share what I put on Google Plus. So we will be sharing. So Mike, if you had a specific financing tool, not just call me for loans, but something that you were writing about, we're happy to share to say here's the person to call for uh, loans in Arizona, but it needs to be specific, not generic. Does, does that make sense? It does. I just did a loan for a person in Saudi Arabia. Yes. To buy a house in Houston. Yes. Not a US and you know, you were, I'm going to be using this a lot. Yes. So what you want to do is you can create a blog post on that or you can create it on your Google Plus because Google Plus is where the world is watching. Okay, and um, the, it is so easy. Uh, the, the hardest part is doing hangouts with people around the world. I do one on Monday with someone from Switzerland and Malaysia, and he has to be there in um, uh, Malaysia. It's really late. Hello, hi, who do we have? Hi. Man, Mimi, okay. <laughs> Mimi's from Lake Havasu. <laughs> and and uh, so great to, to Mimi, the, let me introduce you uh, to Mike. Mike Jones, he does loans all over Arizona. Mimi is from Lake Havasu, Arizona. And we were just talking about the global connection. Mm -hmm. And we've got Margaret Rome here. I'm going to put Margaret on the top from Baltimore, Maryland. And here's Mimi uh, from uh, uh, Lake Havasu. Havasu City, where we, and we were talking about the world, and Mike just did a loan uh, in Saudi Arabia. Mike, why don't you send, yeah. just spend a little bit of time? How did you get the loan from Saudi Arabia? And hold your phone up. Okay. The uh, it was for, a, for an Irish national. He's not a U.S. citizen. Okay. Uh, he lives and works in Saudi Arabia, and he visited Tucson. He wanted to buy a house. He got turned down two or three times. And his agent called me and said, what can you do to this guy? And we did a loan. You bought a house for $625,000. That's a nice loan. <laughs> That's a great loan. So the, my perfect, um, perfect post to go on, to create a blog post about, and then then share it globally. And see, for me, I would love to share that with all my global connections because um, they they read all the time about Arizona because that's just where I'm at. And so it's like, okay, if you're looking here, you love these uh, photographs, here's a place that you can get the loan. So why don't you start here with Mike? So you see how we're connecting all these dots with the whole real estate community and it's all through the pictures that we're just starting through the pictures. 
<laughs> so, yes, now Mimi, I'm going to um, put the uh, blue box on you so that we're looking at you. And so introduce yourself so that people will know who you are. I'm mute now. No, no, you're not mute. Just go ahead and talk. I was muted. I, I thought I was oh, muted. Okay. Hello, okay. everybody. I'm Mimi Lundy, and I'm an associate broker at Remax Prestige Properties in the Cavasu City, Arizona. And I'm very happy to be here. This is only my second hangout. <laughs> well, you kind of missed the party, but you can watch it on the. <laughs> when you're on floor time, it's better late than never. <laughs> yeah, that's great. But we, we, we went through some of the photographs, and why don't you share, um, Mimi? You do have a good story that you can share with um, how did the connection with a photographer, and that's one of the things I really think that every real estate person should be doing now is connecting with photographers for photo walks. Tell us about the connection with um, Greg Kinney in Texas and how um, that all worked for you. It was amazing. It was amazing. Um, Cara had invited me to come with her to Antelope Canyon and meet Gray Kinney. And Gray Kinney, to my surprise, was actually staying all night at Cara's house. And we had just an incredible experience. He taught us how to photograph water drops. And um, the next day, the, the Antelope Canyon was just, just amazing. And to be around someone so professional and so helpful and um, it, it was it was incredible. It was a great experience. It was all day. We were so tired, but it was wonderful. So, well, thanks, Mimi. Um, the uh, I should probably explain. My my house is kind of set up like a, a bed and breakfast upstairs. I guess I should have said that. <laughs> to be uh, to be um, uh, honest, my husband he is like, who did you invite now? All the time. <laughs> And um, uh, you know, but I don't, I don't invite somebody. And I do actually um, workshops in my home, training workshops, uh, people for planning and what have you. And and Mimi can let you know that we have plenty of room, and it's easy to sit down and learn because we have a lot of space. But upstairs we have separate three separate bedrooms and the bath and a family room, so it's like its own level. And um, now here's where the connections, and this would be a. Uh, how do you know if you want to meet somebody? Well, you know, I've watched people for months uh, on what they're f posting, go look at their about page, go look at their website, go look at their Facebook page, before I would say, well, yeah, you can stop here, because we were trying to figure out how to meet in Antelope Canyon, and he was doing this whole western tour of um, places in Arizona, and I'm like, well, why are you going to stay in Winslow and then drive to Antelope Canyon? And so I invited, and he had the same uh, intrepidation <laughs> with his girlfriend. You're going to whose house? I'm like, oh no, this woman's kind of heavy set. She's not going to munch on you and her husband. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so we, we, everyone will go through those things. And um, I have met some other people, and I'll, I'll take Tom, and uh, um, we'll, we'll meet somewhere kind of uh, uh, like in Flagstaff. Uh, I've met uh, uh, Jim Goldseth, what a nice man, and he travels around the country in an RV, So, <laughs> and he takes pictures. So, nice guy, met another woman in um, Las Vegas, and it was all from the daily photo themes. Um, someone had taken a picture of the Eiffel Tower, who runs a bridge theme, and also um, train spotting Tuesday, and since I love trains, we have them up here in Arizona, um, I said, oh, we have an Eiffel Tower close to us, and she jumped into the conversation, this is Pam Shockley, and said, oh, yeah, in Vegas, and I said, well, I'm going to be there next week, so we had um, another meetup, and she runs Leading Line Monday, so you see all these people are connecting on these daily photo themes about lines and this, again, the daily ship depth of field. I'm really getting um, better with the photography skills and talking to these people and, and going forward. So um, it really is just a wonderful opportunity to meet. So Margaret, do you have anything before we sign off that you'd like to give as a tip that uh, you really are going to use or that you've gotten? And um, 
Well, I'd Maybe. like to be able to embed this um, post, uh, you know, this this hang up right now to share it with the rest of the real estate agents. I think if they get an aha moment like I do and like I think Mike is getting, um, this is huge. Well, yes, you'll be able to in about four minutes, not, not even two or three minutes after we um, close out the, uh, the um, hangout, it will go to my YouTube channel. And so then it'll just be like any other YouTube. You'll have the short URL or you'll have the embed code and you can put it right in your blog. So that's what, that's what makes this so cool for a tool, for a lender, for a title company, for a real estate agent, because you can create this stuff that you would be doing um, on YouTube and, and just put it right, right in your, your um, blogs. So Mike, we're back, we're back to you and we need you to put your phone back up. <laughs> put, put your phone back up. Oh, there you go. Okay. Well, it, it'll be on my stream, okay, uh, I'll do it, or, um, and uh, it, 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 it used to be, um, the, um, I feel, oh, you know, here's what happened, it used to be It's Quacking, okay, because I started this in 2009 with my Gmail account before I knew what to do, so if any of you haven't gotten your Gmail set up, please, uh, you need a branding idea about this, but it changed to my name, so it changed to Cara Riley, that's an option that it had, um, so anyway, but I will also give you the link, but it will be on my stream, and then you just click that tool, and you can either get the share to the share to either share the URL or to share the embed okay okay great so so Mimi did you have ah, anything you wanted to share with uh, with what what you've learned so far um, uh, with Google Plus and and things that you'd like to do in the future well, you know, I think that the whole photography, the daily photography theme is, is a great way to break the ice with people and to meet people and to get involved in circles. And I think from there, as far as like real estate um, and lending, the hangout experience is, is incredible because we can, we can um, come together as a group from all over the country or in different areas and we can share ideas to help, you know, help each other in business. Maybe we're doing something here you're not doing there and vice versa. And, I just, I love it. I haven't had a lot of time to do it, but it's great. Well, wonderful. Okay. Well, um, we, we've had our, our, our hour in the, with Cara's Cliff Notes, and I'll continue with different things because uh, very important to get your about page right and um, how, how to do some engaging that's not offensive because in social media, and you've probably already realized this, you don't get do-overs. There is no rehab that's going to get somebody to circle you back if they've kicked you to the curb they've kicked you to the curb <laughs> and uh, so uh, you, you just have to know the rules of engagement so that you're not offending I try and always be understanding but there are some people who really aren't and so um, you just need to be careful and practice first with people who who are understanding and, and can help you through um, the rules because a lot of times people are not wanting to say what's going on and that's where I like the clarity that 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 paints the true picture. We're not going to put any lipstick on the pig. We're just going to talk about what it is, and this is what we need to do in order to engage peacefully uh, in this wonderful community. And uh, so, I appreciate each and every one of you. Now, we the after party is really fun, and so for those of you, if you want to be on a panel again, uh, I, I stop the broadcast, and then we have a little after party where it stays on but you who are just watching the the, the show won't, won't be a privy to that, but we'll go over what we could do better, um, how we can improve, and what would be another great topic to be able to share. So thank you, Mimi, Mike, and Margaret for taking your time, uh, reaching out to everyone, and we will see you next time in the Cosmic Cow Pie for Cars Cliff Notes. Thank you. Bye. Bye.